Heavenly Father, I come to you today, Lord, humbly asking for relief for others, Lord, praying for my friend Danny Tupac, for my ex-wife, Lord, for my sons, Lord, for anybody that is going through any of this situation, Lord, I'm just praying for them that they may have strength, Lord, that they may receive mercy, Lord, that they may walk through this process, Lord, without harm, Lord, that they may be healed, Lord, knowing that you are God and you are the only true healer that there is, Lord. You have taken vessels, you have used vessels, Lord, but it is always your work that heals, Lord. And as we step into this situation, Lord, knowing that only you can heal, Lord, let us look to you, Lord. Let us know who the true healing comes from, Lord. We don't give honor and praise to the ones that are utilized, Lord. We thank them, Lord, but we give honor and praise to you, Lord, for being the one that gives out the ability to heal, Lord, that gives out the ability to take care of our battles, Lord. And I ask that you be in the front line in the midst of their troubles, Lord, in the midst of their situations, Lord, and watch over them and their families, Lord, that you may strengthen them, Lord, that this may pass over, Lord, and if it hits, Lord, that you will fight the battle, Lord, that you will not leave them alone in despair and frightened, Lord, that you will strengthen them, Lord, and let them know in confidence and in faith that you are God and you are God alone and that you handle all things, Lord, in your way. So, Lord, I come to you today asking for prayers to heal and to help, Lord. I ask for a prayer for Reverend Nixon, Lord, who is going through what he may be going through, Lord, but I ask that you heal his body, Lord, give him some energy, Lord, give him some strength, Lord, give him the ability to move like he wants to, Lord, let him get up and walk when he wants to walk, because, Lord, he is a walking man, Lord, I ask for Deacon Rivera, Lord, that you also help him, Lord, and strengthen his body and heal him, Lord, and let his family be strengthened and encouraged, knowing that you are God that you are not just his God, but you are their God, and that you are a good and faithful God, a righteous God that will help any that call upon you, Lord. So I ask that they all call upon you, Lord, in their own time, in their own way, Lord, that they call upon you and know that you will hear their prayers, Lord, and you will answer prayers, Lord. We know that you answer prayers, Lord, and I ask that you give their friends and their families the ability to say, Lord, we are praying for somebody else, Lord. There are intercessory prayers, Lord, that you have answered, Lord. There have been so many that others have prayed for us, Lord, that we may even be where we are at today, Lord. And I ask that they know this, Lord, and they know to have others call on you for their loved ones, Lord, as I am today, Lord. I thank you for all of them, Lord, from top to bottom, Lord. And for those not named, Lord, I thank you for them, Lord. For those I don't know, Lord, I thank you for them, Lord. They are children of yours, Lord. Rather, they either they know you or not, Lord. And you have told us that everybody will bow down in front of you, Lord. So even if they don't believe, Lord, they will see you, Lord. And you have created everything. So I ask you to humbly watch over anybody and everybody that calls on you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.